It'll uh, be a Nintendo Direct special. I think we should just get right into that. Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, overall, how'd you guys feel? I know. Uh, I was a little disappointed. I'm not going to lie. Oh, really? I guess you said that in the Discord. Go join the Discord. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I feel like they didn't really show me much that I'm interested in. And I know that that's, you know, just me. But I'm also a little, a little upset with them for making people have to pay more money for the game, uh, Nintendo 64 and, yeah, uh, well, was it uh, Genesis. Genesis games? Yeah, which I is, think that's a good, a good thing to start on. What do you think it's going to cost? I think they're going to add like five bucks to it. Yeah, I, I was going to say five, maybe ten dollars, but ten seems like kind of a lot. It's only twenty dollars a year, right? So, or is yeah, that for I, the first couple years? I forgot what they said. It's twenty dollars a year, I think, right now. Um, but I can't see them go. I don't know if they would do five bucks. That seems too low. I, I feel, feel like twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, I was gonna say premium. I feel like five seems low, but I feel like ten double or adding fifty percent onto the price just for N sixty four and Genesis seems like you think that's too much. I mean, it's, I just feel like it seems like a lot from what you started with to add ten dollars on. And I know it's not a lot of money in general, but like I that's kinda how I feel. I feel like online is a really good price. Yeah, but they oh, have yeah. like zero features other than yeah. online NES S N E S games. Cloud saves, cool, but like yeah, even some games like Animal Crossing don't even use it. In All of their comparison. they have this stupid app to talk to people on through for yeah. some games. Like their yeah. online service kind of sucks. So if it, it costs sure the does. same amount as which is other why companies. I think it's bullshit because you're already paying for online, which is borderline useless, and you're getting those NES and SNES games. Why did they say? I mean, it's just a cash grab to me. Why did they say you've got to pay more money now for... I'm glad that if they were going to increase the price, they're making it an option because that would be dumb to... Yeah. Yes. What if you don't care about playing the old games? That, you yeah, know? that's good. But the name of it, Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack, is stupid to have done like that. Um, but whatever. Uh, I don't know. They kind of made it sound like there'd be more details later, so I'm wondering if there's going to be more to it than just those games because it seems weird to be like hey is even ten dollars extra to play those a year seems like a weird price point because that's you know not even a dollar a month to play i don't know i'm not like i'm pretty upset about it just because i think it's dumb uh, oh really i mean i i just feel like it's lame to be like people have been asking for a long time to add more stuff they don't have that many i mean there's a, a bunch but it's not like Full libraries of SNES and NES are even on there. Of course, they got a lot of good games, but to go and say we're finally adding another console, we're adding N64, and okay, if you want it, you got to pay more. It's It seems kind of weird. It's a cash grab. But it's... Was you know, it you who said on the Discord that uh, they're trying to pay for those rare licenses? Oh, uh, well, I mean, you just like said that. they got the banjo the license. Sega. And, well, I think it could both. be Dream, I mean, yeah, Dreamcast. Or, sorry, god damn it, Genesis. Genesis, yeah, they're, they'll probably have to pay Sega for that, and then some of the N64 games they're going to get are definitely not theirs anymore, like Banjo, so, you know, that could definitely be part of it, but... See, it that to weird. me, like, that was such a big moment for me, in, for two reasons. I mean, I all I wanted, all I've wanted to see on a Direct over the past year or so is something having to do with Ocarina of Time. And we finally got that. I mean... And so I'm happy about that. And I think the cherry on top is the fact that they hinted, they were like, hey, we're working on Banjo-Kazooie. I love that. I mean, they said that it's coming. I love it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but those are definitely like, why would you not have those on if you were going to put in 64 games? I'm not surprised. I don't know. I mean, I know you want to play Ocarina more. Dylan said something too to me after he said he was bummed about the price but he's like yeah i mean i'm gonna pay whatever to play ocarina again of course but i mean i get it it's just i hardly even play the nes snes games and it's something where sure if i can subscribe for wow. a month to you know play those games for like another dollar or whatever then maybe but i'm probably gonna play kirby crystal shards you know but uh uh what i will be buying though is 
the N64 wireless controller. Yeah, I do want to get that. That is dope. Yeah, that did look pretty sweet. I wonder if that will translate to other games. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the ones they put out for NES, SNES, I think they work for other stuff, but they don't have all the buttons, obviously. So yeah, I wonder if there's like a thing that's like, hey, this really only works for certain I don't titles. know, but you can uh, use those on PC also. Like the NES one they put out, you can. Um, so... I mean, it's cool. The thing about the N64 controller, of course, is that it's so weird. You're not going to be using that for it's a ton so of games. Weird. But I'd get it just for the nostalgia. Honestly, though, the Genesis one's probably better for like general use as a controller. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I I otherwise, I mean, I think yeah, uh, se- semi disappointing. But I mean, Splatoon three, a little more footage of that looked yeah, fucking great. Well, that's the one thing I did want to say is that. Unfortunately, uh, the majority of the things that they showed that were already cool, announced, yeah, had been announced. I mean, yeah. they put out this infograph, like I don't know if it was the other day or what, but just looking at a bunch of the big stuff: Splatoon, Bayonetta Three right? was announced years ago, Triangle Strategy, Mario, Shimigami Tensei, Hyrule Warrior stuff, more Animal Crossing, more Smash, Metroid Dread, Mario Golf stuff. Dude. Like a lot of these big names are shit that we already knew you know, was coming. They did it twice during the thing. It was Animal Crossing and something else where they were like... Smash. They we'll tell you later. Yeah. Yeah, like, they fucking lined it up for, for like... Oh, yeah, that was weird. That was annoying, dude. That was they, weird. People have known about the fact that uh, uh, Brewster's fucking cafe is going to be in that game for, like, over a year. They found it in the data of uh, the... Uh, new, uh, new Of New Horizons. Horizons. Yeah. Uh, and... Yeah, I mean, so like they, why did they just show the cafe and then be like, coming more information later? Like, the, the, I know it's dumb and they've done it with Smash before, but I feel like the, the two things I'll say about that is one, if they want to show a lot off, you're not taking away, this was already a 40 minute direct, so you don't want to show a couple minutes. I mean, yeah. Animal Crossing especially is not a game where you can show like a sizzle reel of what's coming other yeah. than like when the game first comes out. But in yeah. update, they're going to show. You know what? Here's the cafe. So I, I don't know. I mean, I get it. It is dumb though to do that where you're like, "Hey, you'll find out more later." Especially because yeah. Animal Crossing, they didn't even give a date. They're like, "It's coming sometime next month. We'll talk about it." Smash. I'm not surprised just because it's the last one too. Sakurai's done a bunch of the stuff where he's had his own little shows and he shows off like how the character plays and things. So that makes sense. But it's still stupid to say, "Hey guys." uh, Check, you know, just, check just, it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then. Yeah, I'm like, all right, whatever. We don't need to know. <laughs> but I th- Kirby, though. Yeah, I was gonna say the one thing. Obviously, uh, I like Kirby a lot, and I, w- uh, I was like, when when I saw Kirby on screen, I was like, is this about to be a 3D, like full yeah, 3D dude. Kirby it, game? I'm glad to see them doing something else with that that franchise. Yeah, honestly, the the most uh, non Kirby game they've ever done with Kirby. Like non typical two D was Air Riders, yeah, yeah, I would say definitely that's the only one, and that was like supposed to kind of be a demo for a three D Kirby. Yeah. They've had some other games that have come out for three DS that were like kind of three D, but they were not a full game. They had that little one, ball one, yeah, where, Canvas Curse, yeah, yeah, that was I that mean, was two D though, yeah, that was different, but it was still two D bullshit. Yeah. I mean, a lot of Kirby games do weird stuff. Like there's some that are just a bunch of different games in one and all that. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, they've been kind of building towards this with some of the 3DS titles. They're smaller games, but they show like him doing stuff in 3D a little bit more. Um, but I mean, I'm pretty excited. It looked really good. I, it kind of sucks as I got very hype about it. But when I was at work, one of the guys said, Hey, did you hear uh, like Kirby game was leaked? And I sent yeah. it in the Discord. But I mean,. I would have been so surprised if not for that. I was still surprised I when I saw see it. I didn't see you post that. Yeah, so he I did. Was, I, yeah. He did post it. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, oh, I didn't see. Well, it. it didn't. It was, was just the name. And oh, you posted it. No, he no, posted it. He posted it. I posted it. So who post, do you posted, posted it? it? It was me. Who posted I, it? I near posted you. it. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I just saw it was a name and a picture, and I was like, "It'd be crazy if this was 3D." That's why I was freaking out because it was. But it does look like it's still going to be the same. More like Mario 3D World, where it's like get to the end of the stage. I mean, that's what it looked like to me. It still seemed like linear paths and stuff like that. I don't think it's going to be like Odyssey or anything. But. Yeah, I, 
I can't remember if it was that or something else that reminded me a lot of Odyssey. I mean, I mean, it's o- Odyssey is a great but, format. So yeah, I know. just think it's it, some of the stuff still looked like um, the like cage with the waddle dees and shit kind of looked like the same thing you get to the at the end of the stage. It's like the flag for Mario and stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. Either way, I'm very excited for that. I know not everyone likes Kirby, but I just feel like they're fun, chill games. And uh, yeah. I didn't play the I didn't play the other one, the four player one for Switch. You gave me the cartridge to try with Lena, and I never she didn't want to. It's just it's it. They're easy games until you go and do like the challenge modes. So, I mean, normally the last boss is hard too. But anyways, in general, yeah. they're like, I mean, the whole point when Kirby was first made is he can just float over obstacles. So. It's yeah. not going to be very hard. Didn't they also announce a, a Castlevania collection? That was already uh, known. Oh, but yeah, I didn't know that. The advanced collection. That's pretty yeah. cool. I Someone said they that. got it. It was good. Yeah. I mean, they're, there's just the games, right? So That's the other thing. It can't be bad. It, a lot of these games are not just uh, coming to Switch. Like That came out on PC that day, too. So that's probably where I would pick it up, honestly. Um, yeah, it might be nice portable, though. Yeah, but... I have a hard time picking which console I want, like PC well, or Switch sometimes. I also got the Steam Deck coming eventually next year, if all things go well You do for be them. having that. So I feel like, you know, it'll be all right. I, I don't know. I thought it was cool. There were some surprises. Chocobo GP. Uh, yeah, that, else? okay, that's what it was that I was like, that it, looks, dude. It just looks like Mario Kart. But it's a Mario Kart, like, full clone. Okay, but... There's other okay, games no, like but that. But I know, but I know. I'm saying like... Yeah, for sure. If you told me that, that those were added characters to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I'd be like, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, they, it, for sure. They didn't leave anything up to imagination. Uh, I mean, there's probably not the same items. It was like magic. That you yeah, but like... I know, but I'm it's also saying. a Switch exclusive, so I feel like they had to be like, hey, is it cool if we do this and put it on the if Switch? He, <sighs> I it's guess. not. I mean, it's not like a copyrighted thing. There are other games. I mean, Diddy Kong Racing was basically yeah, was Crash the Bandicoot same. Racing, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, oh, of course, you know, Hello Kitty Kart Racer, and dude, Nickelodeon Kart Racer. Shit, you can have up to sixty-four players racing that Chocobo game. Yeah, I know. They said that's that. fucking wild. It's, I did well, see hold that. on. It's, oh, no, no, it's a bracket. It's, it's a, a bracket. tournament bracket. Yeah, it's a tournament. It's not sixty-four style. at once. Oh, it's a <laughs> Chocobo like, GP Battle like, Royale. Like, but I mean, that's cool. I'm probably like not Chocobo gonna get Fortnite. it. Fortnite, uh, Chocobo Boat Royale. But I, I don't know. I mean, Choc- there was stuff that was Chocoboy exciting Al. to see. Splatoon Three looks <laughs> awesome. Chocoboat. right? Uh, uh, yeah, Splat- dude. Splatoon Three. The footage of that looked fucking. Yeah, exactly what I want. So I mean, that's cool because they just announced understand- that last yeah, year, and I didn't understand some of their power ups earlier. What like, yeah, I mean, I can't wait to fucking see more of that game. Yeah, I read something about like sub weapons or something like that. Yeah, um, so I don't know, but one of them was driving like a tank looking thing, like a little. Uh, oh, the little ball mech. Yeah. yeah, that looked cool. That was cool. So I don't know. Uh, I mean, I feel like Nintendo's directs recently. I mean, they hadn't even done one for a long time, but a lot of them have been. Is that like, true? Because I feel like they did all these like mini directs a little bit. And then they had like partner directs or indie things, but they never, until the one before this, like around E3 time, they hadn't done one in like a year. Yeah. Like an actual full Nintendo direct. Yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. I just felt like, I mean, there was, I felt like we got one in like May or June or something. Uh, uh, I mean, it was when we got Dread. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's what I'm saying, like around E3 time, but before that, it had been like a year. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know. I feel like the the previous direct was a lot more uh, a lot more hype than this one. I, I mean, besides Dread, WarioWare, and like Advance Wars, I feel like there wasn't. I mean, I'm probably forgetting something I did get hype about, but I feel Splatoon. like that one. Yeah, I feel like they just reshowed a lot of what they had already. Talked I mean, I about. just think they don't have a lot of other stuff, especially with COVID, like. Everyone kept saying last year got hit hard, but everything that's coming out, I feel like next year is going to be kind of fucked. Because other than what's got delayed, but this year's stuff that was already almost ready is coming out. Yeah. And things that were almost ready but need to get delayed will get early 2022. And after that, it's probably going to be pretty hurt. So, because anything early in development got screwed the worst. So, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Um, Um... 
I don't know. I gave it like a seven out of ten overall. I was like pretty into it. I liked a lot of I what I saw. I think that's fair. I I I really f- I feel s- like happy about the. I I wish that there was just a way to buy Ocarina of Time, and maybe that's something that will happen. That is one I thing. It, I think that is what Dylan said. He's like, I wish I could just buy the game, but. I, I don't think they'll ever do that, dude. I think they found this model that they're like, oh, look at all this money we're making off of. Pe-. I mean, dude, I've never played an NES or SNES title on I my mean, Switch. I mean, you pay for the oh, online. Well, I pay I the have. online. I, I pay yeah, the I've online tried feature, it, but... then they're getting that money from me for free every year, 20 bucks a year out of my pocket for me to play Splatoon 2 when I feel like playing it. I mean, you could just not pay for it, though. It's not about the NES or SNES. I, I understand that. I'm just saying. You could play more online games like Mario Jolf. I'm not going to play that. I mean, uh, I'm just, I'm just saying, Animal like, Crossing. it's not like, oh, yeah, that's the, true. The this stuff being added is an extra price that you don't have to pay for. At I least. know. So, I just feel like this business model they've they've found where it's pay me a subscription fee. We tacked the first one game. on for free, but now if you want more, then yeah, I mean that's probably what it's going to be. But I think the NES SNES stuff was a bonus because p- making you pay twenty dollars a year just to play online games with zero other features is yeah. stupid. So they're like, we got to do something, and they're done with the um, virtual console that was... I don't understand, but apparently, you know, maybe they don't make a lot of money off of that, but I feel like once you've made an emulator work on the console, why would they not just keep putting games out for people yeah. to buy? But yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah.